Hey guys, it's me Sanika. Welcome back to our channel, which is Sanika and Shovel's World, and we are back with part three of Fitzwilliam Museum. And more parts are coming through the more Saturdays. So yeah, guys, and this is part three, which would be Cyprus and European porcelain. Okay, guys. So let's go and see what is in these parts. Okay, let's go. Guys, a fun fact about the Fitzwilliam Museum, it was first opened in 1848, which so after 32 years of, of the original bequest. Okay, guys, and also this museum was only open for three days to the public at that time, and but right now it's six days, like three more days. Wow. But the original museum, which actually was actually built in 1816. Guys, feel free to pause on any one of the like the writings. Like, if you want to read like this one, if you want to read it, or if you want to know more about it, feel free to pause the video and read it Wow, these all look so good. Oh, wow. Mm. Terracotta. I mean, terracotta. Ooh, the map of Cyprus. There it is. Wow, like everything looks so cool, guys. Please come here, please, please. And if you don't remember the address, it's. It's. Um. Trumpington Street, Cambridge, CB21RB. Okay, guys, please come here if you have time. And also, if you don't remember, it uh, is open every day except for Monday. And every day it's open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And in Sunday, it's open from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, guys, please, please come here. Wow, that's so big, guys. Oh my gosh, that's so cool and so big. Wow. Also, guys, for part one and two, Go check the description box and also the pinned comment. Okay, guys? Wait, oh my gosh, is that real gold? Oh my gosh, that's real gold. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh.
Ooh, the, are they are these horses? Wow. Guys, now we're going to go to the European porcelain. So, yeah, wait for, like that's coming in this video like after like a few seconds. So, be ready for the European porcelain part, but guys, Yes, guys, so now we're in the European porcelain, and also there's like a little bit of Japan part here as well, along with the European countries. Yeah, but mostly this is the like the England part. There would be mostly things from England, but there will be also from Scotland and France and Cyprus, and of course, that I said, a little bit of Japan as well. Wow, um, these birds look like realistic. They is so so good. Wow, a bunny and there's a small snail in there. Wow, so cute. Ooh, a shrimp. Wow, looks so cool. And the things from this part is from Germany. Ooh, wow, it looks so cool. I wonder if these, uh, the sculpture, clay sculptures, were like uh, actual people, and they represent. Or they, I wonder if they're representing some real people, like an actual people. Let Let me read from one of them and see. Wow, these look so cool. Ooh, the drawings in there. Wow. Look, this part is from Japan. Like, these things are from Japan. They were made in Japan, and they are here. The, I think most of these are made from ceramic. Now I'm these these are all so cool and so pretty and so beautiful guys. If you have time, please please come here. It's just in Cambridge. If you're like I know some of you guys, most of our viewers are from Bangladesh, and you might not be able to come here. But if you are from the UK, and especially you're in England or close to Cambridge, then please come here. It's like you would be missing it. Like, these are all so beautiful, guys. Please come here. It's so big, and it has so much things to see. Like, like I've, I know, like, like it kind of is, like, getting more, like, knowing more history without a history teacher or something. Like, it's so cool. I've never been so interested in history before this. Like, I history was, like, my least favorite subject. But, like, na right now, I kind of is my one of my, like, not my weakest, but, like, a medium subject, just because I came to this medium, like, everything here is so interesting, guys, 
Please come here. Like the people who made them, like that's it has so they have they're so creative. They have so much creativity. Like I do not understand. If I was like somebody left me to do a clay sculpture, I'll never have that much creativity to like make these. Like oh my gosh, these are all so cool, guys! Wow. I wanna, I wanna give this an E on the. Oh, there's a leaf plate that looks so gorgeous! Wow, a leaf, the leaf plate looks so cool. Wow, they all look so cool, guys. Is that a tree or something that kind of looks like somebody has like a occasion or something? You know that one? Ooh, wow, what kind of animal is that? Wow, guys, these all look so cool. If you have time, guys, please come here. And if you haven't yet, guys, please go and watch our part one and part two. And other parts are coming soon. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And give us a big thumbs up. And also, like, again, turn on the bell and subscribe if you you want some more videos like this and more parts are coming of this museum so stay tuned okay guys bye bye see you in next video